Beneath the silvery glow of a full moon, the fabric between worlds grows thin, allowing ancient powers to stir in the darkness. In this twilight realm presides the Eldritch Queen of Dread, a sovereign of the shadows who searches for souls teetering on the brink of despair. Yet another child and spawn, conjured from the dreams of Azathoth, a reality that is dread incarnate. Dexter Ward, a man burdened by the weight of his own failing hopes, unknowingly draws the gaze of this dark monarch. Each full moon, as he struggles against the tides of his life, seeking a beacon to guide him from his troubles, the queen watches, her interest piqued by his quiet desperation. As I unravel the threads of the void, weaving tales spun from the darkest corners of the cosmos, I beseech thee, lend thy thoughts to the crafting of this saga. Critique my narratives, lest the fabric of sanity fray and chaos seep through the seams. Should my tales find favor in thy eyes, bestow upon us alike a simple act that casts our echoes far across the void, letting the algorithmic winds carry our stories to distant shores. Speak, engage, and react, so that my voice may echo with clarity in the ever-unfolding enigma, or risk the unending silence that may engulf us all. In the confines of his modest living room, Dexter Ward wrestles with an invisible adversary, time. The relentless tick of the clock marks the relentless approach of a deadline that threatens to unravel his future. With only 48 hours left, the weight of unfinished code hangs heavy, suffocating his hopes like a thick fog. Driven by despair, Dexter leaves his couch, desperate to escape the encroaching panic. He steps into the night, finding the usually bustling city unnaturally silent. The streets are empty, devoid of traffic and passers-by, bathed only in the eerie glow of streetlights. As he walks, Dexter's gaze lifts to the celestial spectacle above. A full moon, vast and commanding, dominates the heavens. Its silvery light bathes the city in an otherworldly glow, casting long, ghostly shadows that dance faintly at the edge of his vision. Mesmerized, he wanders, drawn by the moon's tranquil yet eerie beauty, until the sight of a small convenience store catches his eye. Nestled at the corner of a dimly lit alleyway, it stands as a beacon in the quiet of the night, an oasis in the vast desert of his turmoil. Compelled by a surreal calm, Dexter emerges from a store with a pack of cigarettes, a habit not his own. Lost in a whirlwind of what-ifs, he wanders aimlessly through the deserted streets, enveloped by an eerie green mist that flirts with reality's edges. As he wanders the shadowed alleyways, the mist thickens, swirling around him with a life of its own. It whispers of hidden places and secret doors. Then, as if summoned by his deepest anxieties, the alley opens up to reveal a bar 
materializing from the green and black smoke as though conjured by his troubled thoughts. As the mist thickens, reality begins to warp, blurring the lines between what is and what could be. The alley twists and stretches, transforming into the threshold of the bar, a gateway between worlds crafted from his own turmoil. There, framed by the misty entrance, stands a brunette beauty dressed in black. The bar, with its otherworldly glow, seems both alien and inviting. Behind the bar, the tender greets him with a smile that holds both mystery and welcome. have finally aligned for your arrival. Startled by the unexpected familiarity, Dexter's eyes widen as he sharply draws back, his trance of despair momentarily forgotten, his voice, tinged with genuine surprise and a hint of alarm, cuts through the dimly lit ambiance of the bar. What? How do you know me? Dexter's heart hammers against his chest, a sharp contrast to the bartender's serene composure, her voice smooth like velvet yet edged with something unfathomable. She replies, I know many things, Dexter. Just as I know what you seek can be found here in the spaces between. The bartender observes the tremor of apprehension that courses through Dexter, her eyes a well of ancient calm. Calm down, Dexter. You are not in danger here. It is not the way of the void to summon one into its embrace, only to rend them asunder. We are beings of purposeful order, steeped in madness and chaos, yes, but order nonetheless. Trust in the purpose for which you were called. Dexter's breath steadies, her words a strange comfort in the maelstrom of his thoughts. The very idea of order amidst chaos whispers to the core of his being, to the part of him that yearns to unravel the enigma of his existence. May I ask who you are? You're clearly not just a bartender. I'm Nyala, and that is all you need to know. Unknown to Dexter, Nyarla is an earthly extension of Nyarlathotep, the crawling chaos himself who weaves his intent through avatars. Her presence here is no accident, nor is Dexter's. It is a confluence preordained by the very forces that churn in the Void's dark heart. <laughs> 